PJ Ings. This is a motor from a Dyson DC05. Actually, it's a fully working motor from a Dyson DC05. But the, the vacuum cleaner decided it decided it didn't want to pick up any dirt anymore yesterday, so I lost my rag with it a bit and smashed it up. Okay, you could argue that maybe I should have changed the filters or at least rinsed them, or at least rinsed them under the tap. But what's done is done. I've already got an Electrolux which is running quite happily anyway. So here's the motor. I'll give you a quick scout around the motor, see what we've got. You can see it's conventional universal motor. Here's the commutator, here the brush is, here the, the field coils, the stator coils. On this side we have a noise suppressor capacitor and a thermal cutout, which we won't be using. You can see here, that connection and that connection go to the coils. So this one is wired from the coil through to the brush, into the middle, out the other brush, through the other coil and back to there. So I'm going to connect those up and give this motor a bit of juice. Maybe a bit too much juice. going dead short and popping a fuse. What's happened? It looks pretty intact. I think the best pop is open. side with the cover off. It's interesting how tor Dyson seem to use torque screws everywhere on the outside. As soon as you get inside down to the motor, it's standard Phillips stuff. That's going to need a little bit more coaxing. Still none the wiser as to why it why it stops so suddenly. There's not much left to hold it in.
I'm st still none the wiser. Here's the armature. There's a few little bits. There's a bit there where I think it's melted and gone through to one of the neighbouring parts of the winding. Brushes are intact. Okay, that's that spat a few wires, but nothing major. I'm surprised, I'm surprised it's uh, dead short like that. Never mind, it's dead now. Thanks for watching.